Okay, I'm doing a video because I've tried to take pictures of my own ears and I can't do it. <laughs> so I hope this is helpful. This is the new version of the 1.5 inch, inch and a half, 12 gauge sterling silver endless hoops, which don't work well torque wise. So I've modified it and I hope that's clear. Okay, I'm also going to do a piece for another girl showing how to take them on and off effectively. So I'm, I'm hoping that this catches it, but it's a, uh, there's in the front is, um, maybe sideways. There's a, a loop that goes through the silver and it has a little ball on the end that rotates. The other end behind my ear, it goes into tube. And so this is what the mechanism looks like. Oops, hello, focus. Can I see it? So when you put them on, you're gonna turn it this way. It's at a, at a 45 degree angle from the earring because this moves this way, okay? So you, either way, either side doesn't matter. Turn them this way and you've got, that's nice and easy to grasp. You're gonna put the wire through your ear until you feel that your ear is in the hoop, the, the arch of the wire, okay? Then you're going to grab the ends of the thick part of the wire, right? Oops, hair. Okay, and just pull it apart. You've got your, your finger and your thumb right here, close, where you can feel the ends together. Pull this way, because this nice thick wire has spring to it. So pull this way, and you're gonna be able to guide that back wire in using your thumb and forefinger. See, thumb, forefinger. You can feel the end of the wire, pull it apart, then guide that in to the tube. And you'll be able to tell because you can feel the edge of the tube and the wire going up, okay? So I'm gonna do it one more time because I'm not sure this thing's in focus. So I'm taking them off, I'm doing the same thing. I'm pulling it apart and the, the uh, wire pops out of the tube. But it stays on your ear because of that loop. So that's a little safety feature that's built in. Okay, so I've taken it completely off. This will turn at a 45 degree angle on the earring and that won't hurt it. You don't want to bend it this way. Do not bend. Don't bend. Turn. It's designed to turn 45 degrees sideways. Actually, it'll go almost 180, but perpendicular. It's plenty of room to get it on no matter what size your earlobe is. Okay, and it's kind of short on the end, so it just fits in. And this wire is made to be very springy. It's very, it, it's spring hard. So if, as long as you don't bend it, like bend, you'll be fine. It's built to be springy. And see, this is built to be springy too. It'll spring right back and forth, no problems. So you're gonna turn it at a 45 degree angle. Let me see if I can get, yeah, okay, that's focusy. Okay, put the wire in the ear like you normally would. It's hard with the other mirror, okay. Make sure that the earlobe is in this arch. And then see you've got the post coming out the back. Okay, you're not going to put it in by moving the post. You're going to pull the thick part of the silver apart and guide that post into the tube with your thumb and forefinger. Voila. There you go. Okay, 